G'day there. Welcome to the next version of Taking It to the Streets. Today I just wanted to give you a brief uh, overview of chainsaw training in CFA. Um, we've just uh, been able to release a couple of new chainsaw trailers into the field uh, where we've got a uh, couple of real experts that are out there to deliver train to trainer um, training for chainsaw operations. Chainsaws are probably one of the most frequently used tools on our rural tankers and there's a degree of safety uh, that we need to t uh, train people in there. So these guys are the subject matter experts. I'm going to hand over to them in a minute. But it's also worthy of mentioning that, you know what, we've got a lot of people out there that are experienced chainsaw operators. You don't need to do the whole training course if you think you're up to it. Um, if you want the accreditation, just book in to do the assessments. So let's hand over to our experts. Hi, my name is Tony Sakluna and I'm a wildfire instructor with the Country Fire Authority. When responding to bushfires, storms, road rescue and structure fires, CFA crews are often confronted by fallen trees and limbs. In bush firefighting, chainsaws can be used to get access and egress from fire grounds. We can also use them for mopping up, blacking out and off-siding machinery. Chainsaws are an integral part of our firefighting armoury. Operating chainsaws in emergency situations is demanding and can be dangerous. Hi, my name's Geordie Ackroyd. I'm a wildfire instructor with the CFA, uh, working out of the southeast region based up in Bairnsdale in East Gippsland. The CFA is now endorsed to deliver chainsaw crosscut training assessment, giving our members a nationally endorsed qualification in the operation and maintenance of chainsaws. The training package will take members through crosscut techniques, safety, chainsaw maintenance and safe use of chainsaws on fire grounds and other emergency incidents. To meet the national requirements, members will have to undertake both theory and a practical based assessment. The practical based assessment is developed to be done out in the field uh, so we can take it out to the members and the trailer such as this has been developed to help implement. Hi, I'm Mike Evans from the Country Fire Authority. I'm a wildfire instructor and uh, have been involved with the chainsaw training program for quite a period of time and the CFA along with engineering department and volunteers and staff have developed chainsaw trailer to support the uh, training material and the delivery of the chainsaw training. So the most important thing with the deployment of this trailer is to select a suitable site. Initially a flat level site uh, with good clearance around the area and set the, uh, the trailer up on the supporting legs and the uh, jockey wheel up the front and then start deploying the equipment as, as necessary. So we've got our trailer set up uh, nicely, nice and secure and we then uh, start to need deploying the safety equipment. We've got uh, signage in this front locker that designates our fueling zones. We've also got signage for chainsaw training in progress that can be set up around the site. And also in this locker we have a compressor that is utilised in the maintenance of the chainsaws at the end of the session. So part of the course is people need to demonstrate uh, maintenance and, uh, of chainsaws and the compressor is a vital part of that. Once again this safety equipment needs to be used with that such as goggles which are on other parts of the trailer. So the trailer is designed to support up to 10 participants with uh, personal protective clothing and equipment and in this locker uh, on the near side we find some of that safety equipment, uh, five helmets on the top shelf uh, in the tote bins are the, the uh, approved chainsaw chaps, There's ten pair of those, various sizes to suit different configurations of people. We have the um, fire extinguishers as well, other PPC such as the uh, high-vis vests 
that are required by instructors and uh, participants in some cases depending on where they're working and also we have the hammers that uh, the crews in working cruiser 2 part of the equipment that the offsider takes with them is the hammer wedges sharpening equipment uh, to support the the team, a uh, two person team that's doing the chainsaw training as well and that's all part of the instructional process as to how to use these tools and deploy them uh, in a safe manner in an effective team. The rear lockers in the trailer contain the hand tools and supporting safety equipment as well as the fuel and the three chainsaws that are supplied uh, that back locker is vented as well as a safety feature so any fuel that's stored in that locker it's basically the dirty locker is vented and doesn't impact on the other safety equipment such as the PPC uh, chaps and helmets as well so we'll open up the locker uh, once again uh, if the drawers are utilized and then slid in the tailgate needs to be put up immediately afterwards so we don't walk into it. So, drawers, simple, pull, and slide, quite easy to slide. And we have in this left hand locker a range of uh, tools, Rakos in particular, uh, axes, and a log turning tool that all go with the crews when they're doing their work for site preparation, safety and potentially if you do happen to get a, a small fire while you're operating the chainsaw we have got some safety equipment there as well. So in the second locker we have the chainsaws, fuel and oil, similar again, quite simple to operate. And we're carrying three saws in this particular trailer. Uh, fuel and oil to support the chainsaw operation um, and they can be taken out and taken to the site. So in the uh, rear offside locker we have uh, more supporting safety equipment, there's another five helmets stored in there making a total of ten. Uh, for the refueling areas uh, there's two pop-up witches hats and two on this side, two on the other side range of uh, support tools uh, including stump vices, sharpening, sharpening equipment and in the other tape bin there's a range of, of wedges as well. Once again this is the gear that the, the teams will be taking with them when they're going out doing the training or uh, in operations themselves. built in a roll-out work platform to be able to conduct maintenance on the on the trailer along with out in the field itself with the use of stump vices on logs and stumps and that's supported by a very nifty little device that provides a firm working platform in the form of a bar vice to lock the chainsaws on the on the working area. Uh, another piece of safety equipment that we find in the offside rear locker is lengths of dowel, five lengths of dowel, one for each team, that's used by the offsider to the chainsaw operator 
in case there's any danger such as uh, falling limbs overhead or other other dangerous uh, parts of the operation that they they witness they're able to utilize the length of dowel to be able to tap the chainsaw operator on a part of the body that's not going to be impacted with the saw and warn them that uh, there's something that's that is that is probably dangerous for them along with verbal signals or whistles at the same time. Door operations can be dangerous so providing welfare for our operators is important. Now this locker is designed as a welfare locker having the first aid kits and other supporting welfare material. Many brigades will have chainsaw equipment on their tankers or their other appliances and it's fine to bring that equipment along to change to a training. We actually expect that from the brigades. It's a good opportunity to see what brigades uh, have available to them but this trail is designed to support the safety elements that those tankers and brigades may not have such as the signage, such as the traffic cones, such as the compressor and other support equipment that rounds out the training opportunity for the members that are participating. So I recommend that uh, when chainsaw training is scheduled that these trailers uh, go along and be booked to support them and they'll provide a fully rounded training opportunity for the members in a safe manner.